Hey, it's Adler from FM 1021. Backstage Riot Fest 2022, right near the garbage truck, so you know things are going well. Uh, with me, a doctor, an author, a Wisconsinite, and for over 40 years, the lead singer of Bad Religion. It's Greg Graffin. How you doing? Oh, how you doing, sir? Nice to be here. Oh, it's so good to have you back. Well, thank you. Uh, how, are, how are things? Everything is going great. You know, I, I heard that you guys uh, just drove down today. Yes, we just and, ran. Uh, Look at this sweat. It's, uh, <laughs> and we were up in, uh, we were at the Brewer game last night. Oh, you were? So, yeah, so. But, uh, you know, an exciting uh, walk-off uh, double by the rookie. Did so the Yankees. Yeah. So uh, we drove down this morning as well. So How many years back did you sing the national anthem there? Uh, that was probably 10 years ago now okay. or more. So. You know, I think I did such a poor job, they didn't ask me back. So. <laughs> a decade? Well, they, they also haven't won a World Series in 10 years, so maybe. Yeah, that was, you know what? it's been a lot longer I don't think it's that. your fault. I think it might be theirs. Uh, uh, speaking of the Brewers, and I know, uh, I, I see, uh, you're, you're a bit of a Giannis fan. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it re he's, resurrected he's story, the Milwaukee right? story, didn't yeah. it? So. Uh, we have a little gift for you. Wow, the Giannis bobblehead. It is the Giannis bobblehead. That is I, so nice. I had an extra one from the game. It's you know, I, wa I watch uh, all the Brewers games because I'm on my MLB app. Yeah. So I, I can see every game, and I kept seeing the advertisement. For the giveaway, and you're like. For the giveaway, I said, we're going to miss it by like, a how week. how do I get one? Yeah. No, you needed Thank one. Thank you this so is, much. I, this is great. He is, of course, an owner of the team, yes, a part owner. Yes. So it's like. It's so the least to, we can do thank for you over so 40 much. years of what you've helped me out with. This is great. Thank uh, you. Well, the other Milwaukee kind of iconic thing is the rave, where you guys have played oh, uh, yeah. some terrific shows there in the past. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that uh, my wife went is a Marquette girl, oh, um, so okay. she, she, you know, when we started playing at the rave, she just said, you know, oh, right down the street, down from, the street my, from my, school. From my yeah. dorm, you know. But, <laughs> But she, she ended up coming to those shows, uh, you know, this is 20 years ago when we started playing there. And, and she just felt like, uh, you know, she showed me all of the local hangouts That's and it, everything. Yeah. And I, of course, had grown up in Racine, but I went to grade school in Shorewood. Oh, okay. And we weren't allowed to go in that neighborhood. You know, so. <laughs> That was, That's probably why you're alive today, rubber. to so be now, honest with you. Your parents are good people. So now that we're like regulars at the <laughs> rave, it's like, uh, you know, it ain't so bad there. Is it? You feel like you're crossing over this line exactly. that you weren't supposed to go over years yeah. ago? Yeah. So. Well, as, as a man of science, how do you feel about ghosts? Oh, yeah. So the, the haunted aspect. Yes. Yeah. We had crew members many years ago who believed in ghosts. Okay. I do not. They would... After the shows were over, I would I'd get out of there, but they would yeah. stick around and say, "Greg, pool. we're gonna go look for the ghost. Do yeah. you want to come?" I never went. No, you've no. never been in the pool. Never been. Oh, you need at least go in the pool. Oh, I'm sorry. You you probably have explanations for everything that happens. That is that, true. I know. could probably uh, offer an alternative, but to people who believe in ghosts, yeah. There's no alternative that will suffice. You're, you're a doctor. You could walk down there with a, a hair dryer not plugged in and go, here's my spectrometer, guys. It's all scientifically related. Greg knows he's a doctor. We should get out of here, guys. <laughs> I think you got to uh, start using I it. I am a fan of Ghostbusters. I, <laughs> uh, speaking of years ago, this handsome devil, my God. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, can we talk a little bit about this book, uh, Punk Paradox, coming out in October, correct? Thanks. I think it's coming out in November. November? Okay. And it's uh, something I wrote uh, during the pandemic. Okay. But that wasn't really related to the pandemic. I wanted to write a book that melded my uh, experience in Wisconsin yeah. before I ever met any of the guys in the band. And the early years? Yeah, and show some of my upbringing and experiences around southeastern Wisconsin and how that affected my outlook when I finally moved to Los Angeles. Yeah. So it's kind of an interesting story. It is a story. It's not the story. Yeah. It's a story of my trajectory or my path. And I think it's interesting to anybody who's interested in bad religion because uh, they'll be, I think, surprised to find that I didn't grow up on the streets of Hollywood, <laughs> but I was thrust into the streets yeah. of Hollywood at a young age. We moved out there when I was in junior high. So started the band when you were a band when you were 15, right? Well, I was 15, yeah. Yep. And is so how, 
it was it was something that uh, you know I only I've only ever been in one band yeah and so this this story documents the early stages of that is it the early shows and the assembly of the band or a little bit of all of it okay. yeah yeah and you could also say that it's a it's a it's also a story you know about uh, dealing with the cultural differences yeah. between the Midwest and uh, the, the West Coast it's a anyone who's interested in in uh, you know our our culture of, of yeah. uh, the subculture of music uh, will find it interesting I think what was your one leaving the Midwest going to the West Coast you're 15 what was the one big thing that you go oh my god I might not make it here because of the odd differences or was there none uh, probably the first chapter of the book yeah which, okay which details a uh, a beating of a uh, of a fellow punk rocker on the streets of Hollywood so oh, <laughs> that's, that's a way to hook him in quick well that was <laughs> something I never thought I'd experience Jesus. growing up in Shorewood <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of Shorewood people haven't even seen that either yeah, right. uh, one quick thing about the pandemic uh, again as a man of science during the pandemic has this been the hardest time to be a man of science as far as just what's flying around news wise that or, or do you kind of let it go over you because you know the truth as far well, as just odd you know yeah it does go over me because yeah. uh my the level of disappointment in uh the human race uh yeah has been there all along <laughs> any think. scientist who looks at modern society will will shake his or her head <laughs> so this was just another another instance another step just a larger longer step yeah and uh the hardest part was the lack of social interaction yeah and the un inability to have gatherings like this so we're just really happy to be back and be able to have people around and it feels better now excited to see you play i was excited to see the people coming in with bad religion shirts patches on the back great. it's 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 great to see it's fun to see Thanks. thank you so much for the time Greg. thank you guys it. we'll see you next time <laughs>